Um, it's always fun to see what my accent's like in front of other people. Right, good, I've remembered my set. <laughs> when in doubt, stall and look like it's uh, meant to be deliberate. <clears throat> so, they say that love poetry is like a little black dress in that it's a relatively simple concept that never really goes out of style. And also people are surprised to find out I've got a lot of them, so... Uh, this first one should be written in, in iambic pentameter, but I always lose four syllables somewhere. Let's see if it works this time. It's called Two Lions, uh, One Perplexed, One Unconcerned. <laughs> There, standing, lit in joy, he spied her face, free and unconcerned, stalking through the grass. Laughing eyes and wicked grin flew and struck like stolen kiss and caused a grievous wound. She spies him spying across the way and skips into that booming bass-soaked caladon. His haunting huntress, playful prey, was gone, but not so far as to be lost from sight, or rather not lost until she decides, giggling in a hollow, to hide from him. Now it is him who's lost. Hope and fear both together beat his heart with prophecy, wanting and hating their revelation. Then, darting from her den with battle cry, his sunburst girded lioness inflicts with honeyed fangs another wondrous wound. Paws come up to softly ward and embrace and seek a place in shining joy gilt locks to touch with nerve ecstatic fingertips. But too slow one set, too fast the other, and away the she cat flits quick through the vodka dripping undergrowth to leave the male perplexed to stroke his mane with sadly empty, clawless, tawny paws. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It wasn't really a joke, it was more mucus, but I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, I was looking for something else this weekend and I came across this next piece. It is uh, the second piece I ever wrote once, you know, I started at university going, yeah, no, poetry is a good way to express myself. Um, it's called, uh, Why Can't I Sleep? Why can't I sleep? Is it hastily scrawled messages waiting to be replied to and free from light stringing restraint to plunge? Is it thoughts of unwon kudos cavorting in orcish glee and jabbing me with gouging pikes of self-doubt? Do mind and soul rush down untrod road, hoping to catch some glimpse of some unseen, unknowable monument to my greatness? No. So, why can't I sodding well sleep? Why do thoughts spin and make me nauseous? Why am I plagued by visions of beauty and joy, frolicking, teasing, out of reach of touch of sound? Why am I besieged by thoughts of one met but barely met, known but unfamiliar? It's all so similar to angsty dross, so in need of exercising, of recognising it for what shit it is. Fiction. Fantasy. Guff. You don't love her, because you don't know her, that's why. You've hardly met. <laughs> and yet... And yet it is an intriguing thought, which one ought to dismiss as idle fancy. But, if you act, she might accept, or at least not laugh full derisive in your face. Mark this place and seek her face to ask, to test, to see. What that face does to me, it's a buzz, you see, a, a joy for me, a, one quick smile and this boy is floored by she who hoards my dreams and keeps them. Let her keep them. Or, 
We could share them, be a pair then, and all content to lie back and stare ten hours at stars and lights and at each other's eyes and talk of all the things we ought to have done but didn't. We didn't because I wouldn't. Not if I had the time with you, I couldn't. I'd be ensnared and scared to dread on this joyous bubble and be befuddled when it takes my shape and takes on weight and becomes reality. That would be really quite okay for me. But for now, I dream and still don't sleep.